Hey, I'm Jamie Kay. Hey, I'm Sarah D. We're here with the Mooresville Here and Now, coming to you with some happenings in the area and a few things we wanted to give you tips on that we found out this week. So, anyway, um, January 16th is tomorrow, Thursday night. 202 North Main is having a wine tasting. They ha said they have some new reds, so if you're into wine, that's not really my thing, but if you're into wine, um, <laughs> they have some new reds, so definitely don't miss that at 202 North Main, 7 p.m. So, hey, if anyone wants to go, let me know, and I'll meet you there. Yeah, definitely hit us up. Let us know. Um, also, something um, Big Hat Larry's 8 p.m. on Friday night is having live local music 8 p.m. on Friday night, which is the 17th. Is that right? Yeah, 17th. Yeah, 17th. So um, that's local Mooresville as well, downtown Mooresville. And, oh, a new happening I was excited to hear. Um, I watch this sometimes on TV, but Elevation Church just opened in the Lake Norman campus, which yep. is really cool. So that's a close church. Yeah, they're 10th location. It's pretty awesome. 10th. Wow, I didn't know that. That's a lot. That's awesome. Yeah, in like seven, eight years, I think, it's open. Really? Yeah, pretty that's cool. That's nothing. That's very I went, fast. I went though. twice. Saturday night and Sunday. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was awesome. You went with me on Saturday. Yeah, we went Saturday. It was really, really good. Very loud. So if you're in the mood for a loud church, it will definitely get you going, keep you involved, that's for sure. And if you don't like loud, they have earplugs. That's true. That is true. Um, yeah, so check out Elevation Church if you're looking for a good home church that's not too far. It's Cornelius, right? Exit 28. I think. Yeah, we took yeah, Exit 28. Yeah, between 20. 28 and 25. Kenton Place, the old movie theater. So. Okay. Yeah, so um, let's see. Oh, this is really exciting. I've always wanted to do this, but I haven't done it before. I don't know if you've done participated. If anybody has participated in Charlotte, Charlotte, Charlotte Restaurant Week, um, that's coming up in ten days. Go to charlotterestaurantweek.com. I think it starts this weekend. Is it this weekend? Yeah, because I'm going Saturday to our local Epic Chop House. Okay, for a birthday. There's. And I think they're doing it on Saturday. So. Are they? Okay. I didn't know for sure. But Reservations it's to... are full for them, though, as far as I know, unless you go early. So we're going to try and get in early. Early. Talk yeah. Later. So. <laughs> um, I know that there's a lot of Mooresville restaurants participating, a bunch of Lake Norman ones, but it's under charlotterestaurantweek.com. You can get information and details. I think, it, what is it, $30 for three, three or course four meal. meal, I think. Yeah. Yeah, but awesome. reservations are recommended, strongly recommended, because I guess they book up really, really fast. But And I think some of our local places, Jeffrey's is doing it, mm -hmm. Epic, um, okay. the new Trattoria Augusto, uh, the Prickly Pear, some of our local places, so it's pretty nice. Yeah, definitely check it out, and I'm going to try and hit that up as well. And what is it, a week? I'm pretty well, sure it's a week. I think it goes week. for 10 days, and I'm going to, I don't know when it starts, but I know we're going Saturday, so I'm going to say it starts this weekend. Okay, let us know how it goes. We want some feedback. I will. That would be awesome. So definitely check that out. Also, I got wind of a new store called Made in Mooresville, which it sounds like it's going to be featuring Mooresville creative artist type people, people that make things, all kinds of stuff. But it's called Made in Mooresville. Sounds and cool. yeah, I think it sounds awesome. But that's all I know. Uh, that's the only thing I know. So if I you have to find any out information about it, I want to know what's going on. It sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, I don't even know where it's going to be. I mean, I love supporting local businesses. So. Absolutely, because that's what our Support government your town. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mooresville is an awesome town if you get to know it and kind of check things out. You know, yep. there's a lot of really cool stuff in our town. So um, if you have any information about the new Made in Mooresville store, location, who was running it, that kind of thing, what it's going to be involved with, um, let us know. Because yep, let us know. All I know is it's called Made in Mooresville, and we want, we want the scoop. So, <laughs> And as soon as we found it, we'll let you know. So, um, but this year we want to focus on everything about you, things to help you relax, things to help make you feel better, that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, Not really? Kidding. Um, so I have some do it yourself spa tips. It was, uh, kind of triggered my inquiry about do it yourself spa because I got a very, very generous gift card from Santa this year for massage envy. So I'm excited to use that. I haven't used it yet. I got a sitter lined up courtesy of Sarah over here. And um, if you guys have been to Massage Envy, let, it, let me know what is the best package to get so I really can get best bang for my buck there. Yeah, I heard it's really awesome. So Have you? I have two. I, just I need a massage too, people. <laughs> Call Santa. Scott, I need a massage. <laughs> <laughs> I have three kids, so, you know, my massages, I have to get my massages at home. <laughs> yeah. Well, the other part is, is you can do a lot of these yourself that we're going to recommend to you. So the reason I'm holding this tennis ball that I keep bouncing on the table because I'm fidgety, um, one of the things that I do is I do it yourself foot massage and just put the 
the tennis ball, you can use the softball, you can use a baseball, whatever you want to do, and just put it under your foot, and then you just roll your foot around. You can do it standing, you can do it sitting, and we'll do a demonstration for that later. And there's lots of, you know, if you, like, really look into that, like, acupuncture, pressure points on your feet. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a great for your circulation, it makes you feel better, it's relaxing. So it's, you know, if you're just sitting there and you're having a stressful day and sitting down at night, grab a softball, in my case, in my house, because there's always softballs rolling around my house. Like this part of your foot right here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this part has their yeah, clean I'm socks. Kidding. <laughs> if you just put the, the just ball. don't put your feet in middle people's face when you do it, please. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love her. I don't. She care. said demonstrate. Oh, that's no, wrong. They really that don't is smell. wrong. They smell um, great. They smell she like said demonstrations are good. We're trying to make you laugh. So <laughs> anyway, if you just use the tennis ball and leave it on the floor and just roll it around, there are so many pressure points in here, like she was talking about. The effect, and there's so many nerve endings in here. I have heard through reflexology that there's like all of your major organs are connected through this part of your foot. So that's where you really want to roll, roll it around. And it, it's awesome. Seriously, it helps so much. So definitely um, get yourself a tennis ball or a softball or baseball and give yourself a foot mas massage. That way you don't have to count on somebody else to do it. This is something else I do too. And this might be really weird, but I, I turn around. My, um, my three-year-old, I always... I like massages, and so I'm like, baby, will you pat my back? And so this is what I get her to do because it's easy, but it hits your muscles, and it helps, like, create different points see. of, um, I don't know what you want to call it. Pressure but, points? Yeah, I guess. Like, it stimulates different nerve endings instead of just where you hold your stress awesome. and tension. And so even if you're, like, a single parent or if you're a single person or whatever, just get somebody to pat your back like that. I let my three-year-old do it, and it's awesome. I love it. So... Those are, my, that too. those are definitely my tips. And um, I saw Bethany, I think, the new talk show Bethany, which I don't watch often. I actually caught my dad watching it, which is really funny. <laughs> He's a 60-something-year-old man watching Bethany. Well, I but, don't even know what Bethany is. <laughs> uh, she's the one that came up with the Skinny Girl Margaritas. She has her own talk show now. Is she on, on the, one of the Housewives or something? Yeah, she was. and I don't know the whole yeah, detail, but she's got her own talk show. show. But she had lots of really good spot tips, and she had a doctor on there talking about things to help your circulation, things to help do do-it-yourself spa stuff. And um, I caught a clip where she was talking about do, and I used to do this, but a hot and cold shower. So you get in the shower, and then you turn it as hot as you can stand it for as long as you can stand it, which is nice. And then you turn it cold, as cold as you can stand it, as long as you can stand it, which is horrible. And then you go back to hot. You do it like four times, and it's supposed to really help your circulation, which is good for you. So... But those are my tips. But Sarah's very young looking for her age, so I want to hear her tips. So she wanted me to share what I use for my moisturizer, which I've been doing for probably a, probably two years now, honestly. Really? Yeah. And honestly, I think I just got it probably online or maybe someone shared it on Facebook. And I'm like, I'm going to try that. Plus, I'm kind of, you know, we have three kids and a dog. Hopefully a dog coming back <laughs> soon. That's another whole story. If, you, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you know I lost my dog at the park. It was horrible. But we think we found him. But we're going to surprise the kids if we did find him, and it's him, and he's coming back. So, shh, don't tell. Okay, so anyway, um, organic extra virgin coconut oil. This is Nutiva, which is a great brand, and they actually sell it at My Food Lion, which is by the corner of Shears and Rocky River. And you definitely want to use organic and extra virgin if you're going to put it on your skin. And you can actually use it for your hair. And the cool thing about it, depending on the temperature in your home, it's solid. It looks like lard. It does. It's <laughs> white. Coconut. But it smells white. awesome. So you put a little bit on your hand. Throw it in between. And as soon as it hits the heat of your skin, it melts. It melts. Okay. So now in the summer when I have it, and especially upstairs in my bathroom, sometimes it's liquid and then you forget so be careful because when it's liquid and you go like this to take the lid off and it just pours out. <laughs> and the other thing too, you might think like it smells like coconut oil when it's wet, but as soon as it dries, you don't really you smell, smell it. it. I've never noticed the smell. And it's, I mean, it's great for your skin. You can use it on dry spots. You can use it on your face, your neck, but just be careful. Test it first, especially if you have your really sensitive skin. Um, it's a great sunscreen too, which is awesome. Really? Mm -hmm. I did not know that. I'm hoping to use it when I go to Hawaii this year. Awesome. Sarah's going on an anniversary trip to Hawaii. I'm super yes. excited for her. It'll be I'm awesome. I'm super excited too. You should be. That's I awesome. am. Yay! Finally, 20 years. Going 20 somewhere. Years. Tropical paradise. Excited. It's a long time. <laughs> I know. It's not that long when you're in love. 
That's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a long time. But it's awesome. It's a great achievement. I love it is. Husband. It absolutely is. I love is. my husband. He's the one for me. He's awesome. He is. He's awesome. I'm so, blessed. That's what we have for you this week at the Mooresville Here and Now. We definitely appreciate your feedback. Let us know what some of your do-it-yourself spot tips are so that we can spread and share the news. So, anyway, thanks a bunch, guys. Hope you have a thanks. great week. Thanks we'll for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.